here on the stage establishing eight bomb mills. Elementary school teacher asked the whole student, when you are married to loved one, what will happen in the future? They responded quickly, divorce. Children brought up the word divorce naturally. This reveals a huge problem of modern society. Marriage is more than standing, still looking at each other. Both time will pass and looks will change. People who desire a successful marriage, uh, marriage should know marriage means movement. The current divorce rate is then more than 50%. We should seriously think about this because it is not the story of others. People hope to marry when they have found a loved one and wish to be together. Why does divorce come so easy? There are many reasons. Their love is not crazy blue. It is possibly not. Marriage is not a combination of two perfect, but union of incompleteness. However, we mistakenly think that marriage is not a search for a life partner, but desire for a driver who is responsible for my life. The driver of my life can neither be husband nor wife. God says about marriage in Genesis 7 to 4, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. This indicates that man was not created as a complete being. However, it does not mean the wife is subordinated, subordinated to the husband either. Because woman has same dignity and personality created in the same image of God. It can be said God gave the world to fill empty place for human beings by the act of joining and uh, joining men and women together. There is a few needs to create a solid marriage according to God's word. First, we realize that usually best to meet each other's spouse within the same face. Deuteronomy 7, 2, 4 tells how right this choice is when referring to intermarriage between Jews and Gentiles. Do not intermarry with them. Do not give your daughters to their son or take their daughters for your son for they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods, and the Lord's anger will burn against you and will quickly, quickly destroy you. When my husband, who was a Christian, married me, a woman from Korea who had no religion, I could have been considered a Gentile. I was not Christian, however, we were happy couple. Open with class, no children, nice car, and a beautiful house with a nice view, near by a small lake, and with the baby alligator living in there. <laughs> <laughs> he loved going to church even though he was just a Sunday Christian. Instead of going to church, I loved the world, ending with ING, like the golfing, traveling, shopping, and painting. <laughs> when we had an argument, the reason was because of my relationship with church members. I didn't like anything involving church. His church life was not, was not happy at all because of me disturbing him too much. If he had met a beautiful Christian woman, he
he perhaps could have spread better Christian and worked more at God's side. I did not know he would lead me so early through depths. It's important who you meet in relationship when you are considering marriage. The only thing we ever argued about was belief. Again, I do not say marriage between people who do not believe in the same religion cannot work. But it is much easier if people are of the same religion. Second, what should we do when we get married? There is an excellent example in Deuteronomy 24.5. If a man has a reason to marry, he must not be sent to the one or have any other duty laid on him. For one year, he is to be free to stay at home and bring happiness to the wife he has married. What a wonderful story that is. I guess some men group that uh, group doubts their ears. However, if you are a believer in God, you should think about this meaning deeply. Why God did, why did God say that? God knows women do character well because he made them. We know, however, that life does not always follow a smooth path. My marriage was short five years, but since my husband's death, I've been living over 30 years alone, and I'm standing here to speak my story because of the happiness my husband gave me. My husband lived the verse Deuteronomy 24-5. I felt during, my, my, uh, during our marriage, God's delicacy and compassion, but it is sad, but true, that we would have been happier if we both had shared the same relief. God expected married people to be faithful to marriage vows. Jesus says, Amen should not separate what God has joined in Matthew 19, 36. The Bible says, marriage is a lifelong union and never ends before one spouse dies, Corinthians 7, 39. So, marriage is divine. People should not think lightly about divorce. Marriage is to satisfy each other by feeling in the neck within each other. In either marriage, you will have two complete bodies with the power to walk in the same direction. And what is the best direction? It is following Jesus. Walking in the same direction means having the same destination, Jesus. Ephesians 4, 5, 24 to 5 says, a wife should submit to their husband, and husband will love their wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself. These verses mean married people should respect each other with marriage showing the gospel to the world when the Holy Spirit leads our life there is always love and peace and he guides us where to go how to go and what to do your marriage will be more like a solid blue, rather than a posted in knot. If you share the same religion as your spouse, remain faithful to your spouse, and you both choose to walk in the direction of J E S U S, if that's Jesus. Thank you.